जय हिंद एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ असैलम इन पब्लिक इंटरनेशनल लॉ बट बिफोर मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द मेन टॉपिक ऑफ असैलम आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू द मीनिंग ऑफ असैलम द वर्ड असैलम इज लैटिन एंड डिराइव फ्रॉम द ग्रीक वर्ड असाइलियम विच मीन्स इन वॉलीवुड प्लेस द टर्म इज रेफर टू दोज केसेज वेयर द टेरिटोरियल स्टेट डिक्लाइन टू सरेंडर अ पर्सन टू अ रिक्वेस्टिंग स्टेट एंड प्रोवाइड शेल्टर एंड प्रोटेक्शन ऑन इट्स own territory so asylum involved two elements first shelter and uh, second a degree of active protection on the part of the authorities in control of the territory of asylum so actually there is no specific definition of asylum but it can be understood as legal protection granted to the people who have fled their home country due to warship conflict persecution or fear of persecution so the process is that an individual has to apply for asylum in a particular country while their application is pending they are made to stay in detention camp once the application are accepted their claim are accepted then these people get the status of refugee and the right that come along with it so now question may be arise that what are the basis of asylum so a state has a right to grant asylum to a person on the principle that it has a sovereign right to control over the individual found on its ter- territory so the right of territorial asylum has been conferred to a state on the basis of its sovereignty over the territory if a any individual found on a any particular territory then the that territory or that state has power because it is supreme it is sovereign in itself and that uh, state can control over the individual whoever found on its territory now question may be arise that what are the reason for providing asylum to any asylum seeker so basically the first and uh, four actually there are so many reason state grants asylum to a person because of many reason first of all it is granted to save a person from the jurisdiction of the local authorities because it is feared that he would not get fair trial if extradited because of differences in views as to his political or religious activities second a person may be granted asylum on extra legal grounds or to say that humanitarian grounds as uh, in case of uh, uh, corfu channel case international court of justice stated that asylum may be granted on humanitarian grounds in order to protect political offender against the violent and disorderly action of irresponsible section of the population so we can say that ki asylum can provide in case of humanitarian grounds and uh, as we have already discussed to save a person from its jurisdiction of the local authority because uh, there is some kind of fear uh, in that in the uh, back of the mind of that person who is going to extradited national security also play an important role in granting asylum the offender who may be a rebel today may become the ruler in future date so in that case the relationship would be strained if he extradited now the question may arise that is asylum a right of a person it is said that a person has a right to get asylum in other state uh, according to article 14 para 1 of universal universal declaration of human right lays down that everyone has a right to enjoy in other countries asylum for persecution further the general assembly of united nation unanimously adopted a resolution in 1967 uh, which entitled that uh, uh, declaration on territorial asylum and states that no one shall be subjected to measures such as rejection at the frontier expulsion or compulsory return to any state where he may be subjected to persecution that is the principle of non refoulement in its wider sense including person seeking admission at the order so when we are talking about the forms of asylum a state may grant asylum to a person in two ways they are territorial asylum and extra territorial asylum territorial asylum is granted when the state provide asylum to asylee or asylum seeker within its territory the exclusive control of every sovereign state over its territory back up the right of a state to grant territorial asylum it is an exception to the extradition the grant for territorial asylum therefore depends upon the discretion of a state which is not under any obligation to grant asylum to a fugitive 
so when we are talking about territorial asylum it is totally up to the state it is totally the discretion of the state whether they would like to provide asylum or they would like to extradite that particular person from their country from their states the lack of generally accepted rules regarding the grant of territorial asylum led the general assembly to adopt a resolution on december 14 1967 as we have discussed that it is mandate to general assembly to adopt any resolution regarding the asylum which is known as declaration on territorial asylum through the adoption of a resolution according to article 1 of the uh, declaration of uh, territorial asylum provided that asylum granted by state is to be respected by all other states it also stated that the right to seek and enjoy asylum may not be invoked by any person with the respect to whom where there are serious reason for considering that he has committed a crime against peace a war crimes or crimes against humanity so when we are talking about uh, Uh, regarding uh, asylum to provide any state so there should be no discretion and uh, it should be uh, it should be uh, granted in respect to other states equally for example if a an individual uh, if an individual a from syria comes to turkey and apply for asylum due to horrifying condition in syria and apprehension of danger to his life so if the individual is granted by the turkey government within the country itself it is an example of territorial asylum when we are talking about extra territorial asylum it is granted when the state provide asylum outside the territory of its states such as in warship legation consular premises international headquarters or its embassy situated in different country that is one of its public place situated lying in a foreign territorial border the term extra territorial means beyond the jurisdiction of the authority of the state where such establishment that is the local authority the immunity is granted to the diplomats and other official to protect their country's interest the local authorities are not allowed to enter the embassies of any country situated in their country without having a special order for example if a Uh, individual from Syria approaches the US embassy in Syria for grant of asylum due to imminent danger to his life if the US assembly grant the asylum it becomes an example of extraterritorial asylum so when we are talking about extraterritorial asylum there are some kind of segments uh, which is for example asylum in legation when asylum is granted by a state within its embassy premises situated in foreign countries it uh, will consider as asylum is based on the consideration that embassy premises are regarded to be outside the jurisdiction of the territorial state and therefore it is invalidable second uh, asylum in consulates uh, basically it is somehow similar to the asylum in legation premises rules regarding asylum in consulates are similar to the asylum in legation premises asylum in warship means man of war and public vessel of foreign states while in the ports or internal water of another state are exempted from the jurisdiction of the latter for certain purpose they remain under the jurisdiction of flag state however such vessels are bound to observe the ordinary laws of the port as far as asylum in warship is concerned it may be granted on the ground of humanity in cases of extreme danger to the individual seeking it so right to grant asylum in warship may be granted in same way as in case of legation and also subject to the operation of the same condition the fugitive once on board so perhaps he will be immune from seizure by any uh, territorial state but a uh, mere refugee does not exonerate the ship's authority from the duty to deliver up the offender next asylum in merchant vessel so basically merchant vessel are not exempted from local jurisdiction and therefore asylum cannot be granted to an offender so if a person after committing the crime in shore seek asylum on board or foreign merchant ship he may be arrested by local police either before the ship leave the port or when it comes into another port of the same state there is therefore a rule that asylum is not granted on merchant vessels asylum in premises of internal institution 
whether a person taking refuge in the premises of any an uh, international organization or institution would be granted asylum is a question which cannot be given with certainty in the absence of any rule in this regard and also because of the lack of practice however a right to grant temporary refuge is an extreme case of danger from mob cannot be ruled out so uh, the topic of asylum uh, is completed here and uh, i hope you are now able to understand the difference between asylum and extradition uh, they they both are totally opposite to each other and uh, we have seen that uh, extradition is a kind of process in which uh, an requesting state requested to a requested state for the uh delivery back of that fugitive offender to that particular state where he has been committed any crime but when we are talking about asylum asylum is kind of process in which a person seeking shelter to other state where from which country uh, where there is uh, he, the person is having any kind of fear of per- persecution